This is Malfuzat, volume 2, pages 79 to 80. In fact, this is uh, a talk that uh, Azrat uh, Mirza <coughs> Gulam Ahmed Sahib Brahmatullah and I gave. Um, and now I'm going to uh, read this or read its English translation uh, in uh, two or three thoughts. The person who compiled it gave it the heading Avoid Shirk, which means avoid associating things with true God. The Rishab says, Shirk is of many kinds. One is the obvious one in which followers of other religion have fallen and in which human beings take a stone or some other inanimate object or some power or some mythical beings takes them and considers them to be God. It is true that this form of shirk is still, it is, still exists in the world. But the education and the light prevailing at this time is such that man's common sense looks upon this thing, looks down upon this thing. It is a different matter because some religions, which are natural religions, believe these things and declare them to be true. But the truth is that by their very nature, human beings, but, <clears throat> but the truth is that by their nature, human beings are dri drifting away from such belief. But there is another form of shirk which is hidden and which acts like a slow poison and that in this age is increasing. And that kind of shirk is that people do not depend on and have confidence on God and help from Him. I do not say and neither is it my belief that we should not use the facilities and means available in this world. For God himself has asked us to use the means available to us to the extent that they are necessary. And if we do not, then really it is to dishonor the qualities that God has put in human beings and to deny a great action on part of our God. For when we are not going to use any of the faculties available or facilities available to us, then in effect it is to say that we deny them and they are useless and that is against God's intention and it's against and it is saying that his action of creating these things was useless which in, which in fact is a great sin. This is not my intention. This is not my belief that we do not use facilities and faculties available to us, but use them only to the extent 
that we required. After all, for the hereafter, we have to use the same faculties and facilities. For obeying commands of God to say our prayers, to save ourselves from sin, to do good, all of these require the use of facilities and faculties that God has, uh, has uh, created. And they allow us to have peace in this world and in the hereafter. But what is forbidden is that we depend on these facilities and faculties and say it is not God who has benefited us in this way but because I have this ability, I have this quality, that is then a denial of God and another form of shift that you start to depend on yourself and not God. Hagasab has more to say on that which I will uh, try and translate next week and uh, perhaps the week after that and that will conclude this part of his talk. The talk.